Hi. Um, so my next guest is Joe Siegel. He is a Providence-based clothing designer. You may recognize him from a little show called Project Runway, season 11. I watched every episode. <laughs> um, so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, so a lot of cool stuff in the works, but let's talk a little bit about how you got started. Um, you kind of specialize in really fun cool prints and uh, so talk to us a little bit how you decided to sort of specialize in the textiles. Well I I studied painting in undergrad and I was always interested in like clothing but also like just making stuff in general mm -hmm. so pretty much I was working in New York I would go to this gallery for work and then I uh, I like started just going to the clothing stores instead of the galleries and I realized <laughs> that that was what I wanted to be making. You know, I, yeah. I, I felt like the clothes were more interesting than the art. So it's sort of like walking art. Yeah, <laughs> totally. And I was like, I like the idea of making something that people can have and wear and like express themselves. Yeah. So that was the how it all began. Originally, I thought it would be painting mm -hmm. designs for like fabrics, mm -hmm. but then it sort of evolved into a lot of different things. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Um, so. You began designing clothes, you began sort of making your own fabrics and, um, and patterns. So did you start with knitwear or how did you kind of get into that? Well, when I was researching schools, like I wanted to go to grad school because I thought that that would help me kind of get a career, do something creative, because I was having a hard time before I went to grad school. And I also didn't really know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So, um, like most people yeah, that age, you know, I was just like floundering. I yeah, guess. yeah. In a, nice, we all. In a good way. We all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, when I was learning about that you could study textiles for a job, that's mm -hmm. when I really realized that you could do knitting. I was like, I didn't know that there was like knitting machines and yeah. all this stuff. And so while I thought, while I like print design, I also really like the act of like knitting on a machine. It's totally different right. than hand knitting. It's not like with needles. It's like more of like this action packed mm -hmm. like process on this like archaic machine. And so it's crazy. kind of, yeah, it's just like a fun, it's like cool. It's kind of like building a fabric in an interesting way. Yeah. So, so you yeah. ended up going to RISD yeah. to focus yeah, on that. Yeah, I went to RISD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so as your career was taking off, um, I'm not exactly sure of the timeline here, but I think it's pretty impossible to have you here without bringing up the infamous <laughs> Crazy Kitty sweater. Yeah. This totally. was your garment that like yes. broke through. Do we have one here? Ooh. Oh my gosh, I here had to it bring is. One. You have to bring one. Okay, so <laughs> this garment like put yes. you on the map. It kind of flew up. Tell me about yeah. this phenomenon. It's I mean, I'm so sure you, did weird. you expect that to happen? No. Like this is amazing. I I designed this. It's funny. I like made this cuz I was doing a project about the occult and I was okay. like I was like researching like black magic and superstitions and then I was like I just made this painting of a black cat. And without the eyes, it's actually kind of creepy, you know, like this mountain of black cats. But then I was at a jewelry, like, wholesale place in Providence. Mm -hmm. Like, there's all these, like, old jewelry manufacturers Yeah, here. that was, like, the, yeah. the kind of start of all right. the jewelry Right, and I industry. saw this, like, box of eyeballs, and I was like, duh. Need this them. Is, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then I put those together, and then there was the cat sweater. And so... Um, yeah, I like put pictures of it on Tumblr and I had an Etsy. And then like on Tumblr, this like one picture of it just got really popular. Wow. And then that's how I have an entire business. It's crazy. That is so crazy. Yeah, it's really I mean, it's, magical. it's just like someone's big break. You know, we were just talking to an actor who had mm -hmm. his big break and it's that thing that kind of yeah. cracks you into the mainstream. Right. Yeah, you never know. It's I like, know. It's so funny. were you like prepared for that? Like, <laughs> did you have pieces like made or did you have to scramble to no. try to like it was like a constant make the demand. Yeah. It was weird. It was like I would be buying because they're printed on sweaters, so I like had to learn a lot about printing on sweaters and yeah. like where to find sweaters and a lot of it, it like started from just going to thrift stores all the time, collecting sweaters and like mm -hmm. 
experimenting and there's always like ones that would mess up there's like they would fade or you know it was like yeah. lots of experimenting like trial and error before yeah you and then eventually like this you know i started like getting sweatshirts and stuff that i knew that would work a little yeah. bit better and uh and it's taken like 10 years or something but now it's like streamlined but now nobody wants them oh but, no uh, <laughs> I well, want one. I'll yeah, order one. Maybe cause. after this. Maybe you <laughs> yeah, want exactly. one. <laughs> exactly. So let's talk a little, bit, uh, a little bit about your experience with Project Runway. I mean, this is another, like, major forum for mm -hmm. designers. I mean, it kind of, I think, unless you're showing at Fashion Week, I mean, there's nothing bigger than, like, being on Project Runway. So how did that um, happen for you? Did, you know, the, the process? Yeah. Um, it was... Like, they, I was contacted to apply, and, like, okay. a lot of local designers get contacted and asked to apply, and um, I never really consider, I'm really, like, because I'm so focused on the fabrics, I don't even think about myself as really, like, a designer, even <laughs> though that kind of is what I am, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but after, like, getting those emails and be like, ugh, I should just apply, so then I applied, and somehow, within, like, two months, I was, like, on the show. Yeah, I love you. You're like, oh, I guess I should apply. And then <laughs> well, I <laughs> knew I had had, I was waiting until I had like a brand and like until I knew how to like manufacture things. Mm -hmm. And I still am learning everything. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to like have something like ready to go. Yeah. Before I like got this exposure because I didn't want to get exposure and like not have Miss anything. And yeah, yeah. Was, totally. So I'm. I'm actually glad I waited, and it was, it was perfect. It, good. Well, it came out good. Cause I didn't do that good on the show. It was really bad on television, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I had fun, so. and it was like, <laughs> it was good. It was like, uh, it was a great opportunity, and yeah. I think it's it's really helped me continue to do what I like to do. Good. And that's like the whole point. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, okay, a couple of things. So. Now you are here in Providence. You mm. are kind of headquartered here. Yeah. Um, you are designing for your two clothing lines, mm -hmm. World of Jazz. Yep. Is that how you pronounce yeah. it? <laughs> and, uh, and Pretty Snake. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll talk about that later because you have some new items, which <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see. But you're also teaching a course at RISD. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about the course. Yeah, I teach a, I teach a knitting class, and it's a computer, like, computer designing for an industrial knitting machine so it's like a wow. lot of like it's like programming combined with like material and color and pattern and wow. concept so it's pretty cool it's like a, it's pretty much I get to teach what I learned yeah you know? it's like technical and creative yeah at the same exactly time. it's so a really good designing like their their concept on a computer and then it sort of tells the machine what to do is that kind yeah of how it works Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm totally. making that up. <laughs> right. Like, for example, now we're doing a project um, with the museum. Oh. And the museum has this really amazing, at the RISD Museum, mm -hmm. there's a really amazing, like, costume and textile collection. And so the students are working from, like, historical fabrics. Oh, wow. And then using those as an inspiration to make new fabrics that kind of, like, they're, like, taking the idea of that fabric, however it is, and then just, like, bringing it to a whole new place. Wow. And so... That's like, so it is like, there's a lot of like conceptual fabrics and like lots, it's like, it's cool. It's like mm -hmm. sort of like more in the art world in yeah. some ways. And sometimes it gets very technical. Um, you brought us some samples of, yeah. so these are some of the things that. <laughs> I brought some of my older work. Oh, this from, is crazy. So these are just like some examples of just like when people are creating a fabric, like, wow. you know, like just making a fabric not yeah. knowing what it's going to be and just yeah. kind of like experimenting with material and color right to get this like, kind of like three-dimensional yeah, totally and this was made on one of those hand machines and then oh. i brought this one like this is kind of like a really more technically advanced fabric mm -hmm. and this is like on a computerized oh, okay. machine but i like the oh, wow. i like it trying to like yeah it's totally out gosh, of control that is so crazy <laughs> Yeah, so like this is like when you get really nerdy. And into the, like, it's Does like, it take a long time to to like design takes, this and get the machine to do what you want it to do? It's like it's just a kind of like a 
explicit a curve. You mm -hmm. know, it's like once you get it, then you can kind of learning curve. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can really take it however far you want. So this is like a really. Is this weird one of yours? One. Yeah, yeah. These are all. These are all fine. yours. Yeah, and then this is a this is like a really old. This is a combination of like um, knitted, like knitting yeah. and like uh, this like silk gauze. So this is like a really, yeah, this is like totally not practical. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think that's the best, but, though. But, you know, like, that's where good things come from. Exactly. You know? And sometimes with fashion, it's like, yeah. you're just way out there. Totally. It's, it's I like things. to start as far away from, like, anything functional. <laughs> then, like, and then, reel it back. then, like, put a hole in it, and then you can wear it. Right, exactly. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, a yeah, in your head. exactly. Ta-da. Right. It's close. <laughs> Have you learned anything <laughs> knew about this medium since becoming a teacher? Has it like kind of taught yeah. you anything? Yeah, I think new? I'm still learning a yeah. lot. And it, it's cool, like the more I learn about the computer side of it, it's actually I can apply it to the hand making, which is cool. It's like, it's like informing my own work. Yeah, So yeah. it's good, yeah, That's it's awesome. awesome. Yeah, it's always fun. And there's like endless things you can do. I'm sure, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you brought us some new items yes. that you're going to be uh, including yeah. into your line. So I brought a little snake. tour of, like, yeah. a tour of the line, because it's sort this of, great. Like, it's like, I'm in a transitional phase, in a good way, yeah. you know? um, so, I brought, like, so, the cat sweater, right, <laughs> this is what started the line. So, like, this is what kind of, I was like, I should make another cat design you know and that's when I started getting into the digital printing mm -hmm. and that's how this is like the this design is like what happened after the cat sweater I was like and I did a Kickstarter to get the money to like print the fabric oh and is this and that was the this second is part called a uh, kitty garden party yeah <laughs> this is the, the kitty garden party I know and fabric. there's a puppy garden yeah. oh, party yeah. as Don't well worry. I, which Everyone's like, why don't you make puppies? This is well, the I do. Why are you so <laughs> yeah. like? Why are you only yeah. cats up? Don't worry. This is <laughs> the greatest. Yeah. Well, is there a reason that you're inspired by animals, or is it just like happenstance? Like, I just happen to put some puppies on these shorts. Well, <laughs> I um, had a fan base that really liked cats, <laughs> you know, and I yeah. wanted to continue to make them happy so that's you know yeah so and then you know the These dog people were like i feel left out and i was like all right dogs these are the greatest but then them. i was like i feel left out and then i was like <laughs> let's make something weird and so like, i like that <laughs> with, with what you do yeah. It seems like you really have freedom. Like you can kind of I do. come up with whatever comes to your head and this you can make it happen, thing. you know? I try to, and this is like a, inspired by a woodcut of uh, witches. Yeah, I was going to say it kind of <laughs> yeah. looks like the... It's a little um, witchy. Yeah, yeah um, Salem, like witch totally, trials exactly. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like the newest thing. Um, and this is like, I, I guess I just have a lot of, I'm always inspired by kind of surprising things. So mm -hmm. I just go for it and... I definitely have some duds, but I try, <laughs> you know, like, you, you never know. You gotta put those out there, though, you know, yeah, you never know. Yeah, totally, right, I just go for it. Um, so the, yeah, the cats, so these are, and then basically I was making all these, like, uh, lots of, like, leggings and, like, mm -hmm. dresses, and then I had all these fabric scraps, and then that's when I started making men's stuff, and I was like, oh, I have this scrap, why don't I make a tiny, tiny speedo for speedo. some guy? <laughs> yeah. With and so, sprinkles. Yeah, exactly. Sprinkles and it's just sprinkles. Yeah, in Rhode Island we call them Jimmies. I think yeah, <laughs> they are That's rainbow sprinkles. sprinkles. Um, yeah, so there's that. This is a classic. These are like the most popular. These are like older things. Uh huh. Um, these are things that are currently available. Yeah, right these now. are currently I available. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the T-shirt for those of you that want the cats on Love the t-shirt. Um, that is yeah. a kitty garden party for you. <laughs> That's the cats. <laughs> and then the newer things are, this is like, this would, this would go well with your I shirt. love it. Well, maybe yeah. maybe you'll have to let me borrow an outfit yeah, for, uh, totally. for the show one of these days. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, so this is the new 
Uh, That's great. Cheetah eye print. Uh huh. <laughs> Very descriptive. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheetah and um, eyes. But then, so the thing that's exciting about this is that I started now, with, uh, this is the newest new thing, is that I wanted to make some more men's stuff, um, but maybe not necessarily spandex. Mm -hmm. So these are the new shorts that are coming, the swim the shorts greatest. that are coming out, and these are exciting. Yeah, uh, everything is so fun. And yeah, like... these I really went for it. So we'll yeah. see, hopefully people <laughs> will appreciate that. And then um, another new print, so, oh, I'll show this, show this crop top. This is oh, the cryptid print. Oh my gosh. So it has I your favorite cryptids, see. like the abominable snowman. And <laughs> this is great, Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot, uh, oh this giant squid, <laughs> this <is amazing. laughs> Nessie, and the sandworm. Um, this is great. Yeah, and this was illustrated by a friend of mine, Julian. And uh, yeah, so this is like the new print. I, is like, this available yet, or is this one of the this newer is, items that is so coming out soon? So this is coming soon. Yeah, okay. I'm. Uh, I should have this up on Friday. I have a photo shoot Ooh. on Friday, so if I edit those fast enough, it'll be on the <laughs> store on Friday. And then That's these awesome. I also have coming. This is what else is exciting. So there's like the men's swim short. But then there's also my favorite, oh, thing, okay. this new button up. Yeah. So I'm trying to take it a little bit further and have more Broader yeah. audience, kind of. And like, I like the idea of somebody wearing like an entire <laughs> outfit of the same insane print. I don't know. It's, no, it's Why fantastic. Why not? Yeah. Why not, you know? And then um, I have one last thing. And this is the, this is the last like swim short. And this is called oh, like neon neon bummer because it's a if you look closely you'll oh, see yes. it's, like, it's sort of a cryptid that uh, is a shark shark attack. yeah we have some um, you know hands that have <laughs> yeah been... and some dead fish <laughs> and some litter uh, that's great I love yeah. that that kind of from afar it may look like one thing but when you look closer yeah you kind of get the joke you know totally. in a way yeah I think that's sort of just me coming Your thing. out. Me yeah. as fabric. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are going to be coming out soon. Yeah. Uh, PrettySnake.com. Yep. Um, do you have your items available anywhere here? I... Yeah. A lot of places. Oh, okay. Uh, so the women's dresses and like leggings and all the sportswear is at Queen of Hearts, which is okay. down the street there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> downtown, <laughs> downtown Providence. And, um, and then... Next door at Craftland are more of the unisex t-shirts. Cool. And then uh, the RISD <laughs> Museum store has stuff. Oh, wow. That's and cool. then the men's stuff is at uh, Mr. Sister on Wicked Inn Street. Very good. Yeah. So lots of opportunities yeah, for our locals totally. to, to go grab some of these things. And then prettysnake.com. Yeah, and come to the studio. Just let me know before you come. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll post your, your information yeah, yeah, yeah. and people totally. can get in touch with you. Cool. Thank that you so much.